Hi, and welcome to our new NFT tracking template. If you have entered to the NFT market, you must have noticed it can be really messy after getting more than a few whitelist spots and trying to make some profit out of those tokens. This is where this template comes with help. So at first, let's see all the sections. We have in total six different sections. Settings, watch list, minting tracking list, and the calendar, trading fit and its analytics. All those sections can be treated as two separate tools. One of them will help you to track the minting events, whitelist steps, etc. So it is basically event tracker with a calendar. You can track projects that are launching soon, update your notes and keep most of your information in one place. And the other one is about sales activities. That means it is not about remembering the dates, but about calculating and estimating your profits or losses. You should understand the distinction between those two tools, because maybe you don't want to track Mintix after all. Maybe you prefer to focus only on flipping the NFT projects that have already started. Okay, so starting from the beginning. It is important to check and update all your settings first. Most of those settings are related to the mint tracking, so update them according to your needs. In addition, marketplace here is needed for later profit calculations in the trading part. The wallet alias is used in the minting part, however, the actual addresses are only kept for you to be able to quickly access them. So you can also just leave it empty. As a separate tool, we have here also a time zone converter. So first set up your time zone because it will most likely not change later on. However, if you change from summer time to winter, remember to update it then. You can also update the format in here. So whatever format is provided, you can just simply write down and get the time that is more understandable for you. In those dropdowns, you can find standard notation, but also specific abbreviations like CEST or any other. Okay, going forward. The project watchlist is not the main part, but it's really good to have it updated especially if you keep the current price and the creator fee updated. That will benefit your sales analytics. Creator fee is important to calculate your real earning and the break even. Current price, however, will be helpful to estimate the current unsold assets value. And now we can go to our main tools. In here, just fill out the table and track all your decisions. Here, is the time and the date of the project launch. You can add it also to the calendar if you think it's worth remembering. In the whitelist application steps, sometimes we can get lost. Assuming we won a spot, we still need to follow some steps and it's easy to get lost, especially when you have many of them to remember. This is where it comes really useful keep track all of those information in one spot. Here, from the dropdowns, you can choose all of the most important informations. The dropdowns here are coming from the previous settings lists. In addition, if you do more research, you can specify some kind of confidence level, but it's all up to you. The settings above allows you to make some small adjustments. Depends what you want to see. Okay, let's go to the calendar. In the calendar, I can see the selected previous projects. Here, I can switch the date, how am I choosing it, between week or a month. So, if I choose a month, I can switch between months, otherwise between weeks. Okay, this section is pretty simple and I believe no more explanation is needed we can go to our trading part. On the left side of the table, we are entering all our buy activities. 
Based on the previous settings and the watchlist information, I can see a forecast. This column is telling me what is the minimum price I should sell the NFT to not lose. And any above price will be counted as my profit. We often forget about additional costs like market fee and creator fee, while there are many projects with very high fees. And just because we sell our NFT a bit higher, it does not mean we will actually make a profit. As you can see, especially when we have a creator fee above 5%, the break even is becoming much higher than the original price we bought it for. After we have more data, we can actually make a nice analytics from this trading log. If you remember, in the watch list, I was saying it is important to have a current price updated. Based on that, when I choose a summary from the unsold NFTs, I can see a potential profit from those unsold yet profit projects. It is useful to keep track of buys and sales with updating dates, but it will not damage your main output analytics if you will give up on these informations. So now let's jump to the last part of the template, the analytics. Here we can find many important and useful comparisons in a simple and very visual way. Above we have our filters. The dates input in the previous section will allow us to use them more efficiently. If I don't update the dates, in that case I can use only the filters related to the price and the project name. From more interesting charts, I will take a look at the price and profit comparison. It can seem at first that more valuable project can bring more profit, but in the end, it all depends on our strategies. In my case, we can easily say that the project I have bought within the price range 0.2 Ethereum brought me the most profit. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.